Hey guys, my name's Lama and today I wanted to talk to you all about why you should be doing more grinding during your hardcore challenge runs. Grinding often gets looked at with a really poor view comparative to questing. People look down on it for some reason and I really don't understand why. Especially because it has some really distinct advantages over doing any other form of leveling. Especially if you're just mixing it in alongside other means of leveling as well. So today I thought I'd break down some of the reasons why you might want to consider grinding a little bit more on your hardcore characters. So let's dive into it. First of all is going to be that you are going to be able to make a lot more money by grinding mobs than you are by questing. This is because you're going to be able to grind these mobs endlessly and vendor everything that you are ever going to get dropped from them. The mobs are where you get most of your money from when you're questing anyway. People think it's in question worlds, which certainly does help. But in reality, vendoring grey items as you're levelling or unwanted greens and things like that can be incredibly fruitful. So aside from that, you're also going to find that you pick up a lot of cloth along the way, so you're able to level up either your tailoring profession or your first aid, depending on what your preferences are in that regard, as well as also possibly acquiring enough cloth that you are able to do the cloth turn-ins, which are essentially a level appropriate one quest of experience per turn in for 60 cloth that you get which since you're going to pick up so many anyway it's just free experience essentially a quest while grinding beyond this as well if you pick an appropriate grinding location you are going to have a nearby vendor where you can easily go and sell everything to as well as also potentially access to other nodes for either herbalism or mining if you have those professions as well so you can keep those up to date and all in all, this means that you're able to keep up all of your secondary goals a lot quicker than you would with questing, with only the actual experience bar filling up slower than it would if you were to quest instead. Next up on the list is going to be the fact that grinding is one of the safest methods of being able to level. You are in control of the difficulty of any given grind by choosing an appropriate grind to your level and class. This means that if you are in a mood to really push yourself, you could take on a challenging farm, or if not, you can take one one that is a little bit safer, meaning that you're not going to get as many, many unexpected surprises as you would when you were questing. I know a lot of people are going to think that this just simply isn't true, but next time that you are playing the Hardcore Challenge and you're watching the deaths pop up, just have a scroll through your death log, maybe you can even whisper some people, and see how many people are actually dying while grinding and how many are dying to questing. I know that of course more people do questing than do, do grinding, which does affect the statistics quite a bit. However, if you actually look, the two big shocks that you're going to find from looking at the death logs and how people are dying is that there is going to be practically nobody dying to grinding and a significantly less amount of people dying to dungeons than you might otherwise think as well. The entire list is almost exclusively made up of people who are questing. Make of that what you will. One truly excellent reason to consider grinding over questing is going to be that the majority of people that are playing the game, including yourselves watching this video, are probably going to have to play during peak times. And if you are playing the hardcore challenge during peak times, it can be an unpleasant experience trying to do quests, particularly those that have a named mob. Be it Kreenig over on the Horde side or the Device Messenger over on Alliance, you can find yourself standing in queues or in a free-for-all of 20 people trying to tag these mobs, which becomes very unfun very fast. The vast majority of good farms that people have for doing in Classic for grinding mobs are going to be on a forced respawn. There are so many, the practically every mob in the game seems to be on some form of forced respawn where you can really force these mobs to come back at a rate that suits you for your grind and of course this means that the more people are on at peak times even if everybody came to help grind they're just going to trigger the respawns to be quicker a really great example of this that i like is the early levels of the barons so sort of like that 10 to 15 mark where you can go and grind the pirates just south of ratchet now this is going to be absolutely fantastic as a farm for anybody who wants the savoury deviant delight. I myself have farmed here for over 3,000 pirates now in order to get myself that recipe so that I can enjoy looking like a pirate while I'm levelling. But beyond getting that recipe and other rare drops, which is again another reason in of itself to consider grinding as an option, it means that when I log on at say 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, and there are thousands of people playing the game and I'm just watching that death log tick away, I know that I'm fairly safe just grinding away on these pirates. 
gaining my levels, gaining a massive amount of money to get me an early lead in all of my professions, and knowing that no matter what, I'm going to have pretty high uptime on something to murder in these pirates. Because if anyone else comes to do the quest there or to farm them, it just means that I'm going to be able to stand even more still in one particular location, killing the same pirates on repeat, rather than even having to go around. You could even argue that the busier the server, the more efficient it is to grind. Of course this is moot when you get to higher levels because there's less people in general, but even still it's nice to know that regardless of the level, providing you've got a good location, you are going to be able to farm these mobs pretty endlessly. And the final point that I want to bring up for being efficient in terms of the grinding over the questing argument is going to be that it can actually be faster for leveling for quite a lot of classes at certain level brackets. If a farm is particularly good, and more notably if you're playing a class that either struggles with travel time because you are a, let's say, warrior in the early level 20s who has no ability to get between places other than just very slowly walking there, that can actually add a considerable amount of questing time on, especially if you're questing in a large area like the Barrens. You're going to find that you spend an awful lot of time simply traveling from your quest giver to the quest location and back, and that actually detracts from your efficiency quite dramatically. Whereas a warrior has the ability to charge from mob to mob every 15 seconds, just endlessly grinding them with practically no downtime since it doesn't have a mana bar. Meaning that you can just get experience rolling in something shocking without ever actually having to worry to do large distances. On a similar but slightly different note is that some classes actually excel at being able to stay in a singular look at location. A good example of this is going to be the Shaman. Now, of course, Shaman doesn't have a particularly big issue with travel time, given that it has Ghost Wolf, but it also excels at being able to stay in one particular area, find yourself a little safe spot to put your totems down, maybe up against a wall so you can stack them all on top of each other. And for the next two minutes, you can just grind in that location, just murdering mobs left, right and center, just absolutely taking them down. And that's going to be incredibly efficient in terms of value from your totems. Things like this are going to be factors to consider when looking at the efficiency of the farm. And it is something that a lot of people overlook, that perhaps your class is more well suited for doing grinding than it is for being able to go and quest. This also works in tandem with the fact that a lot of the classes that struggle with early movement speed and that are good at grinding are the classes that also need a lot of extra money, particularly at the early levels to get started. The Warrior is of course the most popular class to attempt the Hardcore Challenge on, and if any of you have ever played a Warrior, you'll find that you do find yourself needing a bit more gold early on than you might do with some other classes. And if you grind out a fair few levels early on, you can find yourself able to get very far ahead very quickly, which is an absolutely fantastic feeling to have with a Warrior. But that's going to about wrap it up for this one today guys, it's a very quick overview on why I think grinding is a very efficient method of leveling and one that people really should put a lot more thought into considering because it is something that you are probably going to find that you benefit greatly from at least having an attempt of, maybe just try out one level or maybe just half a level, see how it feels and have a look at how much you benefit in terms of the acquisition of gold or items that you're going to be able to get during your leveling process. But for now guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Laters.